The Historic Environment Recovery Fund was established to help the sector address the many challenges which the COVID pandemic uh, has brought uh, to us and to help plan for the future uh, as well. And we try to do this through two main strands of funding. Firstly, funding to help support organisational resilience to help address the very significant reduction in income that so many organisations in the sector have experienced over recent months. And secondly, funding to support historic sites, buildings, visitor attractions to plan for reopening as and when times allow that to happen. And I'm delighted that we've been able to support and award funding to 41 different projects and organisations across the length and breadth of Scotland, committing funding of almost £2 million to those projects. And there's various ways in which the funding is going to be used. Let me give you just a number of examples. Firstly, to adapt properties and premises so that people coming back can do so in a safe manner. To undertake critical repairs and maintenance to plan for new services and new ways of delivering services, particularly in developing online capacity and online uh, opportunities. Importantly, to protect and safeguard jobs, to look at business plans and marketing plans, to adapt them for the world in which we're going to be operating uh, going forward. Uh, and importantly, maintaining investment in traditional skills and apprenticeship training, and also community projects and many others. The historic environment makes a real contribution through jobs, through visitors, through tourism to our cities, to our towns and to communities across the length and breadth of Scotland. All have been badly affected by the Covid uh, pandemic. The Recovery Fund is a practical way of supporting organisations to help them through the current challenges but also prepare for what I hope are better times not too far ahead. I wish every recipient of a grant every success as they take forward their projects in these challenging times, but also planning for the future.